Good morning everyone. It's that time of year to record the collection video and we have a special guest, Jack, with us. Say hi, buddy. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Alright, let's get into the lesser important things, of course. Pens and ink. Um, I do have a few inks still in bottles. I feel kind of weird about that. If you guys want to see what the bottles look like, I think I'll include a little picture like over here um, of what that specific bottle looks like in case you're interested. I know that's probably something I would be interested in if I was watching someone else's video, so I'll include that for you. But I think we're going to start with the pens first. So I have my little special display box right here. A little dusty, but that's all right. And you'll see plenty of cat hair on all this stuff, so I apologize in advance for that, but it's his fault. Look at him. He doesn't care at all. Um, so we'll start with these Pelicans. I have my um, Pelican M200 in the old style. Silver Pearl, or you'll probably hear me more often call them Grey Marble, because not. I don't think most people know they're called Silver Pearls. Um, and then we also have a new style. This is the rarest pen I own. It looks so similar, you'd never really know the difference unless you know. If you know, you know. Um, and then just by passing these for a second, we also have a blue marble version that came in this special gift box for Pelican's 150th anniversary. Open that back up. Um, so yeah, that's a blue marble with a medium nib and it came with a bottle of blue ink as well. Um, where does it say? Konix Blau. And then we'll come back over here. We have the only Parker I have now, which is the Parker Sonnet. Blue lacquer. Very nice. We have a Schaefer Targa. Very nice as well. We have the Schaefer, is it a Balance Junior? That feels wrong. I always forget all their names. There's so many weird names. I'll put it up on the screen. I think it's a Balance Junior. Very nice looking pen though. And then we have, no nonsense? No, Flat, Flat Cap Junior, Flat something. I swear I always forget these weird names but I'll put it up on the screen as well. So move on to the expensive big boys right here. Um, we have Lamy 2000. This has a medium nib. It's the one I got for what did I pay? 40 bucks? 45 bucks? Not enough, that's for sure. Um, thank you again to the person who I bought it from. I'm enjoying it. I have it inked with Tinder Purple. Um, and then this Pelican I have inked with, uh, what is it? The Aunt, this, the Aunt, Atramont, bro, I cannot talk. Atramontus, or however the heck you say it. I still don't fully know. Document Urban Gray. Um, that Parker Sonnet is inked with, I think, Ravenclaw Blue, I think. Um, and we have a, another Lamy 2000, same as the other one, medium nib. I have it inked with Writer's Blood. I got this for free, so that's what I mean by, like, some of these are going to be kind of unfair if you're trying to gauge prices, um, they're right now kind of looking at like 200 bucks. Um, if you find one for like 150, that's a good deal right now. It used to be like 100 was a decent deal that you could actually get fairly often, um, but now I'd say it's like 150. Now we have the Mont Blanc 147 Traveler, also a medium nib, but it's a juicy one. And then we have the Pelican M605 with a fine nib. Um, if I had been buying it new, I would have definitely gone with the medium, but it's a good fine. I'm, I'm not disappointed with it, that's for sure. 
Um, I got that for about $200, also a really good deal. Um, and then the Mont Blanc I got for $250, $260, I think, $240. I don't remember. I'll put it on the screen, of course. Um, it has some random diamond ink cartridge in it. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll probably have to take a look and put that on the screen as well. Maybe. We'll see. The Pelican has diamond graphite in it. And then we have a Pilot Custom 74. And that has a Roshizuku Kanpeki in it. And then we have a uh, Sailor Pro Fit Light with a bold nib. Um, and if you don't, if you're unfamiliar with Pro Fits, they're the same as 1911s, um, but they call them Pro Fits in Japan. And the light is like, I think 0.1 gram lighter, but it still has the gold nib. It feels just as quality to me, so I'm not really too sure what makes it different from a Pro Fit standard or 1911S standard. Now moving on, we have some more pins down here. We have a one of my newest editions, the Narwhal. That word that starts with an S, I'm not even going to try. Uh, Dragonet Sapphire, absolutely gorgeous with a medium nib. We have two Moonmans. I really need to get some more Moonmans, but we have the M2. Let me pick it up for you. M2 with Sailor Blue Black. I did. I missed it. Uh, the Sailor Profit Light has um, Cursed Pecky in it, which we'll get to that later when we go over the inks. Um, the Narwhal has Orochizuku Yamabuto. The uh, Moonman M2. I always forget what number it is. I want to say M1, but that's Apple. <laughs> M2 has Sailor Blue Black, and then we have the Moonman C1, which has Waterman Tender Purple, and a bent Jinhao nib, if you can see that. I'm not too sure if it's going to focus enough for that. And then moving on, we have some beginner pilots. We have the Pilot Plumix, which has a, I want to say 1.2 stub. It just says medium, but it's got a little stub. And then we'll move on to the Pilot Metropolitan, also a medium nib. Pretty nice. I like the gray. I got that from last year's Secret Santa. I have a Pilot Kakuno with a medium nib, but I love the Kakunos for their little smiley face nibs. Again, if you can see that, I'm not too sure. We have the first fountain pen I ever bought, the Zebra uh, V301 FP. It actually still writes with the original cartridge from God five, six years ago. <laughs> and if I go get a piece of paper right now, it will write. It's wild. Because when I bought it, it was not that reliable. But after letting it sit for like two years, it, it got better. <laughs> uh, we'll move on to the Twisbees I still have. I have the Punch Pink Eco. It did get the infamous Twisby crack. So I paid $5 and got the replacement body. Um, but you have to put the nib in that yourself, which is exactly what cracked the original body so we'll see how that goes I'll update you guys in hopefully a very long time it starts cracking again but hopefully it won't crack again we'll see I have my twisby swipe I keep forgetting to say what things are inked with I'm sorry the twisby eco has uh, a Roshizuku Momiji Thanks to a person on Discord. If you're watching this, I don't think you watch my videos, but if you are watching, thank you. I finally got around to putting that in a pin, and I'm loving it. I was worried it'd be too similar to Yamabuto, but it's it's not. It's good. Twisby Swipe has a Roshizuku Kujaku in it. 
Um, I do, now that I got some Christmas money, I think I'll buy another bottle of um, Shikiori Yamadori because that's one of my favorite inks, but it's so expensive I don't buy it normally. Um, yeah, let's move on. We have the Muji Aluminum with the 3D printed part to make it a little pocket pin. It has a random Kaweco cart in it. I think it's turquoise. We have another new addition, the Lamy All Star. All Star. I always say All Star, but I think it's All Star. Whatever. Aluminum Safari. <laughs> Um, medium nib, of course. I got this from my Secret Santa this year. And it has a medium nib. Just said that. Um, <laughs> blue cartridge in it. Lamy Blue. Um, they did also give me, I think it was a Rose Gold All-Star. But I gave that away because I didn't need two All-Stars. Especially since I already have Safari. Wasn't super fond of the color. Blah, 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 blah. But I think I gave that away. That's a nice thing to do. So I feel a little less bad about giving away a Secret Santa gift. I have my Lamy Safari, which was, looking back at it, it was like a, a pretty big purchase for me, getting a fountain pen that was over $20. It was wild. Um, but, yeah, I didn't really love it, so that kind of sucked. I'm glad that even though my first two fountain pens kind of sucked, that I stuck with it. Because once I got the Moon Man M2, that really kick-started all of this <laughs> the most that was like wow I really love this pen and then that just got more and more and more and more <laughs> um we have the Kaweco highlighter which was I think my third fountain pen and again sucked ass I hate this thing so much um because it's got like a stub and it just doesn't want to be a stub we have the Kaweco Procaeo with a fine nib. I liked it because it was all black and it was cheap and it got me free shipping. <laughs> but it sucks. I hate it. Not a big fan of Kaweco. We have two Jinhao 992s. This one has a, um, uh, I think it has the monster nib in it, the two millimeter monster nib. Let me open that just to show y'all because it's a little special. Uh, opening it with one hand. That's the monster nib. It was so funny when I showed my mom that nib and I was like, wow, look how cool is this? She's like, it looks broken. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to look. And the blue Jinhao 992, I have just a standard fine nib in it, but I do have a new Ebonite feed and flex nib on the way for it from Fountain Pen Revolution. So I'm hoping that will act better than my um, Himalaya V2 GT, whatever. I hate that thing. It's not even in this video. I don't even consider it one of my pens. It lives in a cup where it can just leak its heart out. Ugh, I hate that thing. Um, we have, these are all Jin House from this blue one on. Um, we have the shark. It has Diamine Wild Strawberry in it. And the 992 with the monster nib has Rider's Blood. We have another recent addition, which is the Jin Hao X159. Finally got my hands on one after everyone in the world has reviewed one. So I don't think I'm going to review it because everyone else has, but we'll see. Uh, it has a fine nib. And it is inked with China Blue. I just got it because I wanted to see what a number 8 nib was like. And it's pretty big. I'll throw up a picture of size comparison. I also have a Jin Hao, I think this is 86, I believe. Uh, with a 0.38 millimeter nib. Which I guess would be like a fine or extra fine. Uh, it's basically just a Parker 51 ripoff. It's fine. And last but certainly not least, the Jin Hao 80, which is a Lamy 2000 knockoff, but it uses like Lamy Safari nibs. And I have a Naginata nib on that, which I guess, hold on. I'll give you guys a closer up. Let me zoom in a bit. It 
it's a bit of a funky nib. <laughs> uh, let's put that cap back on. All right, so now we can move on to the inks. Lots and lots of inks. Um, I'm not including any of the diamine ink vent inks because um, we still have one more day left of that. I'm recording this on the 24th. And uh, they're kind of like samples, which I'm also not including. So, yeah. Uh, let's start at the left, I guess. I have two DE Atromantis inks. We have Document Urban Gray and Archive Black, which is similar to Document Black. Um, I don't, I forget the thing that makes Archive Black, Archive Black. It's not that it's archived, because Document Black is archival as well, so. I don't know. I don't recommend it. Just get Document Black, because I think Archive Black is a little drier. I don't enjoy it as much, but I got it. I don't know why. I'm stuck with it now, but I'll finish it at some point. But that's that. Um, and then we have, go back here, we have my Colorverse collection, which I did size down a little bit. Um, I had so many because I won a giveaway from them, but... Not the hugest fan of their inks. They're really dry. A lot of mine are at least. Um, Colorverse Under the Shade feathers like no other ink I've ever tried. So not the biggest fan ever. So I did pare down a little bit. Um, I plan to keep these though. So we have the Apollo 11 First Moon Landing that has five inks in it I want to say. Yeah, four 15 milliliters and one 65 milliliter. I'll throw up a picture of that as well. We have these cute little bottles I thought about not including because they're basically samples. They're five milliliters each, I think. We have Lights on Series, Brain Glistening, and Crystal Planet. We have String, which is why I got that Brain Glistening. I was thinking they were the 15 milliliter bottles. I didn't really read, but that's okay. Because uh, string and brain come together, but I only got string, so I thought I'd get brain just so they could match together, finally. We have Tar Heel Blue. Um, we have Stars and Stripes, not glistening. I wasn't reading, didn't realize there was a glistening one. I thought that was going to be the shimmer one. But it's still a great ink without shimmer. We have Rainy Day and Under the Shade. They're nice colors but dry and under the shade feathers so bad. Then we also have Redshift that has a 65 milliliter and 15 milliliter bottle of Redshift. Coming back up, we have Pelican Edelstein uh, Appetite and Pelican uh, Brilliant Black, 4001 Brilliant Black. That's what I use for my vintage pens to at least get a sense of if they can handle more modern inks, but usually that's like my safe ink. I can put that in any pen and not worry. And we also have Tinder Purple. And we'll stay, we'll go back again. We have the Orochizuku lineup here. We have uh, Takisumi, Tsukushi, Curse Peki, Yamabuto, Kanpeki, and Kujaku. So Curse Peki is a mix of Kanpeki and Takesumi um, from the same person I got Tsukushi from, as well as the Slami 2000. So again, thanks to you, bud. That is my Roshizuku lineup. I started with only Takesumi. The guy who gave me this other Slami 2000 for free also gave me that bottle of Takesumi, which I was a big fan of, but... I never really figured I'd buy any more Roshizuku inks because they were pretty expensive, but look at me now. To be fair, out of all of this Roshizuku, these are the only two I've bought new. I bought them along with my Custom 74 from Pen Sachi or Sachi or whatever. We'll move back up. We have Robert Oster Sushi. Not a big fan of it. Uh, that's probably one I'll end up selling or giving away at some point. We have Sailor Blue Black, which was my first bottle of ink. Um, also not a fan of it. I hate blue black. 
but I am currently working my way through it a little bit. Uh, we can take a look. I still have a lot left. Yay. But that's what I have inked in my Moon Man M2. And working my way through that. I also have Sailor Gentle Black. Um, I have not used that ink and I don't particularly plan on it. I'm not against using it, but I don't have specific plans to use it. But I got it, I bought it from someone. I assume they used it, but it's their old bottle that has the like cup in it. I do have to open this and show you guys. So I think there's a picture. There's not a picture on the bottle, I guess it's on the box. But like you flip the bottle upside down and then put the ink in the little cup. And they don't make that anymore. There it is. It has like a little inkwell in it. So I just bought that kind of for the history since I don't make it anymore. I thought it was neat. And I could always use the ink and then reuse the bottle. So there's that. We have my beloved Diamine collection. I'm gonna put this camera on a tripod because my arm is starting to die. <laughs> Let's move you guys a little bit. So we have the Diamine collection. We have Graphite, Midnight, and China Blue, which I just recently got. I, I'm getting to the end of the inks and I'm just now thinking, I think I'll throw up a little sample of each ink just so you guys can see an example of what it looks like. I think that would be nice. So just got those three recently. They're very nice. Enjoying them. We have Bilberry, which I am running through by my standards, as well as Wild Strawberry. Love me some Wild Strawberry. We have Smoke on the Water and Writer's Blood. Also love that. Smoke on the water is a little dry for my for my taste, um, but it's just such a pretty ink. I am willing to put up with that. Love it. Also love Writer's Blood. Let me open that because I feel like I gotta be running through that pretty fast. Let's see. It's so dark. It I can't tell. Ah, oh, I see ink is to there. Yeah, you can kind of see on the video. So yeah, for my standards, I'm running through that. <laughs> It'll still take me a while to get through, but that's all right. And then let's pick you back up. We have the Monte Grappa Harry Potter collection. Did I say tender purple? There's tender purple if I didn't mention it. I uh, love that ink as well. Such a pretty purple and it's nice and wet. Love it. But the Harry Potter collection, I'm sure a lot of you know all of the problems with Harry Potter, but I really love this ink. I love Harry Potter. Um, I only paid for one of them. I won the others in a giveaway. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like, I feel so stupid being like, oh, I bought this pin for $40 and this one for free. And a lot of these pins, not a lot, a couple of them were free. That one was also from the guy that gave me the Lamy 2000 for free. I've got a lot of these things as gifts, but uh, that's just kind of how the fountain pen community is. If you guys are in it long enough, I may even give you a free pen because I do give away a lot of my pens I don't use. If you look back at last year's video, there's probably a few pens missing that I've um, given away or sold. And, you know, I think that's a really great part of the fountain pen community is that a lot of us are willing to pass things on to the next person if we're not enjoying it. So I hope if you guys get into the fountain pen community, you're treated that same way and maybe you can carry it on as well if you're able to because it's such a nice part of this community. But Harry Potter inks. So yeah, one the other ones in a giveaway um, and I bought Night Bus Purple myself. I also just realized that the B in bus for Night Bus is not capitalized. That's going to bother me. Also, that label, is it just me or is Night Bus, bus Purple a lighter blue? I see it in the camera screen, too. Well, that's kind of annoying. Probably just came from a different batch, but oh well, whatever. Nice inks. Um, I really love Hufflepuff Yellow. 
that is what I have in the Jinhao 86. Um, I also have Under the Shade in this pen. And yeah, Hufflepuff Yellow in there. I also think this video is probably going to be a little blown out in some areas. Sorry about that. That is the collection. I didn't include any accessories or notebooks because that would draw out the video even more. And I don't think you guys would want that. But if you do, if you want to see a whole stationary haul, minus the pens and inks since I've gone over them, let me know. I can absolutely do that. I can go over all the cases I have, all the notebooks I have, stickers, label makers, just all the accessories if y'all are into that. I know I would be, but I don't know if you guys are. So definitely let me know. And we'll tell Jack goodbye at the end of the video. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next video and next year. Thanks for watching. Putin versus people. Evil versus good. Spank that little prick. Bear ass against wood. Spank him till he squeals. Beat his butt.